it's Jess from Pizza Books and today I'm here with a highly anticipated video and that is some Scottish Highlander romance recommendations. These are all historical romances. Highlanders are my favorite subgenre of historical romances all because of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I started watching Outlander I think my senior year of college so I started watching it in 2014 or 2015. My senior year of college started in 2014 and I graduated in 2015 so I don't remember when it came out. I read the book that year. I was watching the show. I became obsessed. Now I own like five editions of the first book and I'm getting a new bookshelf later this week and I think the whole top of it's going to be my Outlander collection and the rest is going to be my historical romance collection because it's kind of gotten out of hand and I have bought a lot of historical romances lately and I've been reading a lot lately and I've been trying to read a lot more Highlander romances and so I'm gonna go ahead and get to some that I've been loving that I think you guys would love too. The first one I have to recommend to you is one I recently finished listening to on audio and I became obsessed and that is The Madness of Lord Ian Mackenzie by Jennifer Ashley. This one Ian is it's inferred that he's on the autism spectrum because he has a lot of qualities. He feels like he can't love anybody. He doesn't know how to read social situations. He has a really good mind for math and numbers and he has a photographic memory. And so nobody knows what to do with him because this is the 1800s where they didn't really explain anything with actual science and they just like pushed people in insane asylums so they didn't understand them. So. Ian spends a lot of his time growing up in an insane asylum because his dad was awful to him and something happened where he's like, fine, you're going to go there. And he finally gets out and so he is very scarred from his experience in this insane asylum. They kind of talk about that. But he ends up liking this woman who is actually, I think her name was Beth. She is a widow. And I loved how we have a widow character because she's kind of more free to do things and like she can have a, not mistress, I never know what word to use, a lover, I guess, and she, like, is not going to be ruined by society as much as, like, if she were single and she would, and so Ian has an instant attraction to her, and he's like, you know what, I want you to be my lover, and she's like, um, excuse me? So the romance goes from there. It's really great. I absolutely loved it. I loved Ian's character. He has such a great family. They're very complex and not all that great, but there is also a mystery that has to do with his family later on in the book, and I just love this book so, so much, and I can't not wait to read more books in the series. Next is one that's pretty popular and it's When a Scott Ties a Knot by Tessa Dare. I finally read this and I listened to this one on audio too and it was as good as everybody says it is. Our main character doesn't want to get married. She wants to be an illustrator of creatures and critters so she like has lobsters in her office that she's waiting to mate so she can draw pictures of them mating and she's very passionate about her work and so she doesn't want to get married and she makes up a fiance and says I met this guy while I was away and we're engaged but he's in the military so she writes letters to this guy and it ends up being a real person. She doesn't know she made up the name and so he's been getting her letters for the past like five six years and she had made up that he died last year so he shows up and says hey fiance ready to get married and she's like oh my god and she had inherited a Scottish castle to like raise her family and with him from a relative and so she's living there and realizes that he's there to marry her and so they have to get to know each other and she doesn't know what to do she doesn't want people to know she lied and it's so good it's so funny it's such a good romance absolutely loved it and I could not recommend this one enough Next is The Secret by Julie Garwood. Our main character is actually from England and she's used to spend her summers on the border and became best friends with this Scottish kid, girl, who's now a woman and she promised her she'd be there for her birth so she gets a letter saying that her best friend's about to give birth because both her mother and her grandmother had died when giving birth so she's freaking out so she wants her best friend there. So she has to go into Scotland as an English woman to be with her best friend and people hate people in England at this time and so the laird of the clan and a couple of friends come to get her to take her back to visit her friend and her and the laird of the clan fall in love and it's so good and I love it and other people kind of start liking her and they're like hey if you don't like her her, like I'll go ahead and marry her because like she's great and it's really funny and the wedding scene in here is just amazing it's really funny and I loved it so much so I could not recommend this one enough I can't wait to read more Julie Garwood next I have in bed with a Highlander by Maya Banks our main character has come into a great fortune so everybody's trying to marry her and so she's kind of on the run so people don't force her into marriage and she gets kidnapped and she gets kidnapped with this little boy and this little boy's like don't worry my uncle's gonna save us and he does and his uncle is the laird of this clan and so she decides to marry him in order to protect her from people trying to marry her for her money and they end up falling in love obviously after their married marriage of convenience and she's so strong-headed and strong-willed and she's like I'm not gonna take this like 
docile wife kind of role in society. I'm going to be doing stuff and you're going to be listening to me. I love that. I love a headstrong female and I love where the layers of the clan, they have to get married as a marriage of convenience and then they kind of start liking each other. So I really love this one. Then I have two by the same author. I think this whole series has to do with Highlanders, but I've only read three of them. So we have The Highwaymen by Kerrigan Byrne. Our main character was like in love when she was little and something bad happens at the orphanage she's at. So her, the love of her life is sent away to this like work prison camp and dies. They did like have a wedding when they were little so she takes his last name and pretends like she's married and then the friend of her beloved from the past shows up and he ends up kind of taking her away and there's a marriage of convenience in here and he takes her to the highlands and there's a romance and he's a scarred hero. This is one of my favorite historical romances of all time. I could not recommend it enough. I love this romance and I love the hero. The other one in this series I want to recommend is The Highlander where it's a governess and a, an older man who fall in love. She's running from a past because she escaped from something and she doesn't want people to find her and she's helping raise his kids and his kids are kind of standoffish towards him because he was never around when they were being raised and she's kind of falling for him and growing close with his kids and it's really sweet but she's hiding a huge secret from him about who she really is and I love this one too. Next one I'm actually currently in the middle of reading and that is Devil in the Highlands by someone. I don't even remember. It'll be here. I'm blanking on the author's name. This one is such a good one so far. It's a little slow right now. I'm about halfway through and it starts out with our main character. She has an awful stepmother and her stepmother's like, I'm gonna make you marry someone awful because that's what you deserve. And she ends up setting her up with the Devil of the Highlands who has a really bad reputation. He's really scary and mean and she is doing something on her horse and runs into all these men and runs into this guy and they kind of have a moment and then she realizes that he's the devil and so she freaks out but is he really the devil or is he really nice and so there is a marriage of convenience pretty early on they end up getting married and then it goes from there so she has to move to his clan and see how they do things versus how she did things and it's really cute so far like i said the middle's a little slow but i'm enjoying that story in itself right now next i have beyond the highland mist by karen marie moaning i finally read this this one's a time traveling romance so she is from i think the 90s or 80s in current day and she time travels back into the uh, medieval Highland times and this has heavy influence from Midsummer Night's Dream so that kind of is why she time travels back. It's like with the fairies and stuff there and there's like a bet that he is gonna have someone who has sworn off like beautiful men and that's what she says and like someone takes her back in time and like she's like I'm not gonna love you and obviously there's a romance. I really like this. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot more whimsical than I thought it would be but I really enjoyed it. And the last one I have is A Kingdom of Dreams by Judith McNaught. Our main character lives in a convent and she is kidnapped by these guys and they are Scottish warriors and she tries to run away a bunch of times. She tries to kill them a bunch of times and it ends up being her romance with one of the guys that she tries to to kill that uh, has kidnapped her and I think they kidnapped her because of something with her dad like they're enemies and there's a marriage of convenience again in here it's hate to love where she literally tries to kill him she does some things that kind of aren't forgivable in the beginning that's really sad trying to escape but I really like this the ending to go on a little too long for my taste but the romance was so good I really loved it and I can't wait to read more by this author and those are some Highlander historical romance recommendations for you let me know down below if you have any for me I have so many that I've bought so many that more that I still have to read but these are ones that I've read and that I've loved that I think you guys would love too so let me know your recommendations and that's all I have as always thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye